introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Okay. Uh, my name is Braulio Torres. I'm the pastor of Grace Church, the new pastor for the last few months. And I am from Mexico, originally. Uh, my wife, Lucy, is from Nicaragua. And we got two children, Isaac Torres, or Isaac in English, and Tabitha Torres. My son is 12 years old, and my daughter is 10 years old. So, uh, we both speak English and Spanish. And I personally like movies a lot, uh, TV shows, and I like to go to the parks, and I like to play basketball, even though I don't play so much now, mm -hmm. and doesn't look like. Uh, I love martial arts, so that's something that uh, I like to do, and I like to be in the church, and I like, I love to be here at Grace Church. How did you choose ministry and to be a pastor? How do I choose ministry and to be a pastor? One of the things that happened to me um, when I was doing IT work, information technology, is that every day when I came home, I feel that I was not done anything, that I, was, I didn't do any work. And every time I went to the church, I feel that I have done something and I feel full and complete. So, when I choose to become a pastor, uh, I always felt that that was, God was calling me. But one day at my work, one co-worker got an accident, and the owner of the company decided not to pay for him at the hospital, and leave him abandoned at the hospital. So it was pretty hard for me, and then I decided to accept my call to ministry and to be a pastor so I can speak and protect those who are being abused by other people. So as a pastor, I can help now. And that's how I choose and I set my call to ministry. And I choose ministry based on what God is telling me. I pray a lot and I listen to try to listen to God's voice. What do we need to do now? And that's how sometimes you will see things happening in the church. Hopefully because everything comes from prayer and for, from listening to God's voice. It's beautiful. Tell us about a day serving at Grace Church. A day serving at Grace Church. So as a pastor, it's sort of like every day. But when I came to Grace, in July of 2020, my first uh, day of service was like a week, and that was the volunteers and mission. It was my next week here at Grace, and the volunteers and mission were doing work around the church. So I just joined them the whole week, and I had a lot of fun, and I was doing most of the painting <laughs> in the sacristy. So I enjoyed painting the sacristy. Uh, I made a lot of jokes. My supervisor was Mr. Dave Payne, and he was a very good supervisor. So that was the first week that I um, talk and connect with some of the people of Grace. And it was wonderful because I get to see different faces and I spend some time with them. So that's the day I remember. Mm -hmm. I, like, I usually like coloring things too. I'll get on some websites and I'll recolor like animals like my children do the same thing. <laughs> my children like that too. So I think it's awesome. Is there a Bible verse that guides you? Yes, there are many, but there is one, and it's from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. And this is Paul speaking to the church of Corinthians. And it says, Whether you eat or drink or drink, or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. And that's what it guides me. Actually, on my email, it has a, as a signature to remind us and remind me, it doesn't matter what I do. It has to be to give honor and glory to God. And that's the scripture passage that guides me in my ministry.
Do you have a favorite moment in ministry? I have a favorite moment that I can talk to here at Grace Church. There, there are actually many, but there is one that it was not my favorite, but I enjoy a lot. And that's when back in the fall, in 2020, when we resume in person worship for a few weeks, I had a blast. Mm -hmm. It was awesome to me. I had a lot of fun. And I was able to see some of the people of grace. And that so far became one of my favorite moments because that's what I've been trying to uh, meet the other people. That's what I'm looking for. So I still remember those couple of weeks with some people and how much fun I got. I don't know if they got fun, but mm -hmm. I had fun. And became one of my favorite memories so far, if you will, uh, here at Grace Church. How do you like Grace Church? How do I like Grace Church? I love Grace Church. And I'm going to tell you why. I love Grace Church because everybody that I have met so far, they're really great disciples. They're really great leaders. They're very smart, regardless of the age. And they're very welcoming and passionate. And there is so many gifts that I have seen in the people that I have met. And I love that about Grace. I also like that in the midst of getting a new pastor, being in the pandemic, doing changes in the worship, Grace Church just kept moving forward. It was not easy. It has not been easy for Grace Church, but they haven't stopped. They got this spirit of moving forward and don't stop to do God's work. That's what I love about Grace Church. And the staff is awesome. <laughs> the staff is great. And, and the people I have met, they're wonderful. Well, thank you for speaking, <laughs> thank you for speaking with me, Pastor Braulio. Um, it was really fun listening to your stories here at Grace Church. And that's it for the notes today. Okay, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Joy. God bless you. You're a great leader.